how would you, I guess this is a very vague question, yeah. but like, how would you describe the importance of distributing and, and grocery wholesale in the economy? Yeah. yeah. Well, it's, I mean, I, I think I, I understand, you know, what you're trying to ask, but I, I think everything is relative to each other. So, mm -hmm. uh, you know, right now, I think there's very, it's, it's Enormous challenging times right now. There's no doubt about it. Yeah. No matter what industry that you're in, um, our times right now, it's uh, we haven't seen this in many, many years. And and, and I would say that for some industries um, are doing better than others, but it, it doesn't matter uh, whether you are in metal fabricating or you're in a dental hygienist or, or you're in a wholesaler like ours. Um, what's happening right now at the end of the day, it, it hurts only one type of person and that's us as a consumer. Uh, so we have right now uh, millions of pounds of product that is sitting in the ports of Long Beach and San Pedro that cannot get unloaded. Mm -hmm. We have manufacturers across the country that cannot, cannot commit to dates, they cannot fill orders uh, due to COVID or people being out, people not comfortable to go back into work. I mean, the, the labor market is, is very stressful in the economy as itself. At the end of the day, business ha businesses have to do what they need to do in order to survive. And most of them, you'll, you'll realize by going grocery shopping either locally to either Walmart or Fred Meyers or uh, wherever you, you do your shopping, or maybe you go, uh, go to the mall you go spend a hundred dollars and you get two, three items. Um, mm -hmm. you, you'll, you'll see that inflation right now is probably at the highest it's been in the last past 10 years. So your dollar now will not go as far as it did 10 years ago. And I think that's just going to get even tighter. Um, and everything is due to the lack of, of, of labor that it is, how tough the market is. Um, employers are paying more per employee than they ever have. Um, they're paying more for goods uh, to get them here. Um, transportation is very expensive and costly. Now you, to, get, to get a truckload of product here, it, you, you're talking about 50% more of what you used to pay. So at the end of the day, businesses will go bankrupt if they don't reasonably raise their prices. And uh, when you say raise your prices, I mean, every, it, it's a chain, uh, it's a domino effect. So uh, manufacturers raise their prices, we raise our prices to the retail locations. The retail locations raise the prices to the consumer. At the end of the day, the consumer is the one who's paying more. Um, and I'm not. And I'm not. I'm not sure where it all is going to end up eventually. Um, but I'm not sure how much longer this can be sustained, mm -hmm. and how much longer can businesses continue to raise their salaries before nothing is relevant anymore. So you raise your salaries from what you used to be at either $10 an hour or now you're paying 15, right. but your gallon of milk went from a dollar to $2 and 50 cents. So yes, your salary went up, but also you consumer, you're consuming your product a lot more expensive. So everything is relative to each other. And um, I'm not sure where it's going to end, <laughs> uh, but one thing I'm sure is that it, it is challenging right now. And um, uh, I'm hoping that, uh, we see an end to it soon. I'm hoping that uh, we can learn how to live with COVID and manage it so that businesses can continue, that we get to normalize life and the economy gets back to where it needs to be. And um, uh, we bring manufacturing back to, you know, the areas that it needs to be, whether it's here in the United States or even if it's abroad, but get the products here at reasonable time and price. And so as things have, have, I mean, we've, we've been going through this for several months now. Do you have any, I wouldn't say predictions, but do you have any like potential thoughts in terms of how things could be shaping out the next few weeks or even like several, like maybe next month and a half, two months? Is it, is it just yeah. unpredictable right but now? I'll, I'll tell you what, if I had the answers, I'd be making a <laughs> yeah. lot of money right now. That's true. Not being called to a light out, but but I, one thing I can tell you, one thing that, that, that is a game changer is that at this time last year, when we, when we had the outbreak of COVID, um, mm -hmm. everything was paralyzed. Right. Um, everyone was staying at home. Uh, people, 
was saying, you know, it was 15 days if, if you came, if you were sick, and if you were exposed, it was 15 days. So businesses were stressed. I think what we've learned, even though that right now the um, infection rate is higher than it was back then, and um, hospitals are still stressed, the economy is not shutting down. Uh, mm -hmm. Businesses are still running. Uh, your restaurants are still open. Um, I, I feel like things are more manageable now. I think what's happening is that as a society and as humans, we're learning to live with this and learning how to manage it and mitigate it to be able to survive. Um, I think shutting everything down is, is, is uh, detrimental um, to everyone's economy, even uh, you being at home. If, if we were to close down again and expect that the government was going to bail us out and send us checks, um, someone's going to pay for this. Um, mm -hmm. Eventually, you know, it may not be me in my lifetime, but it's maybe my kids' children. Eventually, someone's going to end up paying uh, for the money that is spent to keep keep the economy rolling right now. So the, the best best thing that it can happen is to allow the economy to function in a way where it's sustained itself, you know, it's a, uh, it's by making great products that consumers want and allowing uh, people to find jobs that they are qualified for and that they feel like they're uh, compensated. Companies make great careers uh, so that people will want to come work for them. And it, it's all a economy-based um, uh, freedom here in the United States. There, there's no other way of, of putting it. Uh, and if we allow allow it to um, work itself out, I think we can position ourselves for next year to be even better than this year. And then the year after that to at least normalize ourselves to what we used to be before COVID. Mm -hmm. So 